all recipe notifications click on this bell icon and never miss a video from get curried Hi everyone, I'm Tarika, welcoming you to Get Curried, where today I'm going to make a pizza in a pan. That's right, this recipe is great if you don't have an oven at home, but quite honestly, it's great on days when you don't feel like switching on the oven either. So the first thing that we need for a good pizza is a great pizza sauce. So we're going to start with that. Now in this pan here, I have some tomato puree. This is about 400 grams of tomatoes that I've just pureed and just put into the pan here. Nothing extra. Now I'm waiting for this to come to a slight simmer. And then I'm going to add all our seasonings to it. The tomato puree has started bubbling. I'm going to start with some garlic. These are about three or four cloves of garlic that have been minced very finely. The next thing we need are some chilli flakes and chilli powder. Add a good amount of pepper. I'm going to add just a dash of salt because remember that every ingredient that we add in our pizza has salt in it, cheese has salt in it, sausages have salt in it, mushrooms have salt in it, I've sorted it that way. So just a dash right now. Now what we're looking for is for this sauce to thicken and reduce to almost half so the flavours will get really concentrated and we won't need much of the sauce on each pizza which means we won't get soggy pizzas. The sauce has thickened really nicely, it's reduced by half. Now is the time to add in the dried oregano. This is a herb, so it's always best to add it right in the end. Just stir that through and then switch it off. While the sauce cools down slightly, we're going to move on to the pizza dough. Now I've already shared a recipe for pizza dough at home. I'm using half of that recipe which should give you about three pizzas for this recipe right now. You can find a link to that recipe in the description box below. I'm going to start with the first little dough ball that I've got here. And while that happens, I'm also going to preheat the pan slightly. The pizza dough is really easy to roll out because this is a yeasted dough so we really don't have to do much but just make sure you get this into a nice thin round circle. Now just before I put this in the pan I'm going to take a fork and just make little pricks on this. Pizza seems to be done, slightly browned on one side and now it's time to flip it over and I'm just going to let it crisp up a little on the other side and then we'll flip it back again and add the pizza toppings. Now this has crisped up nicely on the bottom side as well. I'm just going to flip it over and now it's time to add the sauce and all the other toppings. Now I'm going to add loads of chicken sausages. Some capsicum rings. sprinkling of some corn and now I'm adding some mozzarella cheese take the heat up to a medium flame then cover the pan and the pizza is ready when the cheese melts
the cheese has melted and it looks nice and gooey. I'm going to turn the heat off completely and the final step is to just sprinkle on some oregano before we eat it. It's nice and crisp and I'm just going to plate it up now. I'm going to make one more pizza and this time it's going to be fully vegetarian. Next goes some capsicum. And I'm going to load it up with some mushrooms. These mushrooms have been sauteed in a little bit of garlic and pepper and I added salt right at the end. Otherwise, they start leaving a lot of water. Loads of corn. And now my favourite, the cheese. And now I'm just going to cover this and cook this on a medium flame till the cheese melts. And that's when our pizza is ready to eat. The cheese has melted and again we're going to add some oregano. And the veg pizza is also ready to eat. So I've showed you how to make two kinds of pizzas in a pan, vegetarian and non-vegetarian. We still have one more pizza dough left. So tell me, which one are you going to make? Vegetarian, non-vegetarian or super loaded? I'd love to know in the comments below. If you like this recipe and I really have a strong feeling that you will, please like this video, share it with your friends, leave loads of comments below and of course, Subscribe to get curried because we have loads of exciting recipes.